It's hard to believe that a place so endlessly photographed, so endlessly admired, could still keep secrets from us. And yet, beneath the roar and shimmer of Niagara's thunder, lies a story that has barely begun to surface. Right at the brink of Niagara Falls, Ontario, a brand new attraction is looking to take visitors on a breathtaking journey like no other. Niagara Falls, located at the boundary between Canada and the United States, is more than just a postcard icon. Niagara Falls is a place where the world's most famous waterfall hides secrets beneath its ceaseless thunder. A place the public only catches glimpses of between shimmering veils of mist and time-worn legends. Niagara Falls commands awe at the boundary between Canada and the United States, pouring more than half a million gallons of water each second over ancient stone. For centuries, visitors have marveled at its power. But beyond these public displays of grandeur, what truly lurks in the depths carved by millennia of relentless force? This year marks a new chapter in Niagara's ongoing saga. After a period of closure, Niagara Cave officially reopened on August 20th, 2025. For scientists, historians, and the merely curious, it's a moment of revelation. Behind the familiar facade of Bridal Veil Falls and deeper within the gorge lie hidden caverns that continue to shape our understanding of this legendary site. Some are massive, their true extent still under study. Others, closed to the public for generations, may have remained relatively undisturbed since the last ice age. Recent curiosity about subterranean worlds has surged, spurred in part by events like the drought in Texas revealing ancient riverbeds and fossils. Yet nowhere does fascination run deeper than here, at one of the world's greatest natural wonders. Picture it, as millions gaze at rainbows caught in the mist, a network of silent chambers, untouched tunnels, and mysterious passageways stretches out of sight, awaiting discovery. What lies inside these newly accessible spaces? Are these merely curiosities of geology? Or do they harbor something even more astonishing, waiting to be uncovered beneath Niagara's roar? And how, after centuries of spectacle, can such darkness still remain unbroken in full view of the world? Niagara Falls Hidden Passageways Beneath Niagara's overwhelming spectacle lies a rarely glimpsed labyrinth, its true story obscured beneath centuries of water and layers of stone. To grasp the significance of recent discoveries, you have to picture the very foundation of the falls, a region carved not just by dramatic plunges of water, but by slow, methodical geological change. Niagara Falls is a product of the last 12,000 years. When ancient glaciers retreated, their meltwater sculpted a sheer gorge, leaving thick caps of Lockport Dollar Stone perched atop weaker shale and limestone. This contrast is why Niagara is both stunning and structurally unique. The cap rock resists erosion, while softer layers beneath yield, allowing the falls to retreat and, under certain conditions, large alcoves or caverns to form. Behind Bridal Veil vale Falls, a natural cave has long been known, remarkable in its dimensions once described as roughly 130 feet high and 100 feet wide. Legends swirled around its rear wall, a rock barrier suggesting further cavities beyond, perhaps even a broader network of passages only partially explored. Over time, the cave was shaped by the erosive power of a long-vanished waterfall, carving what's not simply a nook, but an entire chamber of mythic scale. But the known cave is only the beginning. Those who have glimpsed behind the rock, or were present during rare water diversions, report features that hint at more. Support tunnels, deep crevices, and silhouettes suggesting a larger network. Some passages follow faults in the dollar stone, others dip down into the more vulnerable shale. A testament to the slow tug of war between strength and erosion beneath the falls. It's not all untouched wilderness. Generations of engineers and industrialists have left their mark. Tunnels for power generation, diversion, and maintenance snake through the bedrock, sometimes alongside natural voids. These artificial corridors contribute to the honeycomb character of the region. The 1960s brought the world an unprecedented peak beneath Niagara. When the American Falls were temporarily dried up in 1969 for significant repair and study, the exposed riverbed astounded onlookers. Geologists surveyed the exposed terrain, noting fissures, unstable shelves, and hints of voids within the rock. Significant rockfalls, 
both ancient and recent, hinted at caves or overhangs, now lost or sealed off by subsequent collapses or deliberate reinforcement, still, much remains mysterious. The question now is not whether these caverns exist, but just how extensive and significant their stories may be. Could the passageways behind the falls stretch farther than we imagine, intersecting with historic and geologic layers nobody has yet explored? Niagara Falls, 1969. Silence. It's been described as the loudest quiet in the world, the summer of 1969, when Niagara Falls, perpetually thunderous, went almost eerily still. For the first time in 12,000 years, the American Falls were turned off by the deliberate effort of engineers. This unprecedented act wasn't done lightly. Erosion had eaten into the American Falls, prompting fears that the iconic cascade would turn into a wild set of rapids as more of the cap rock failed. To prevent further damage, the US Army Corps of Engineers built a massive coffer dam, diverting the river's flow. For months, the fall's power was reduced to a trickle, bearing the underlying bedrock. The newly revealed riverbed was both startling and strangely familiar. Full of battered slabs, toppled boulders, and shadowed alcoves, scientists took advantage of the exposure, studying fissures, measuring unstable escarpments, and peering into faint hollows previously hidden by the water's force. During this rare interval, many features became visible, evidence of historical rockfalls, hollow spaces carved by water, and collapsed overhangs marked by deep shadows in the stone. Some voids were found to reach further than previously thought, while the constantly evolving riverbed, pitted with depressions and small grottos, testified to the relentless erosive power at work. Yet total exploration proved impossible. Time and safety constraints meant not every cavity could be fully mapped or explained. The team balanced the desire for discovery with the risk of destabilizing the very structures they wished to understand. By the time the water thundered back over the cliff, most of these sites were again hidden from the world. The 1969 silence remains a pivotal moment, a rare window into Niagara's underbelly, offering proof that its visible grandeur is only half the story. Glimpses of these structures took decades to analyze. Today, that historic pause stands as both a warning and an inspiration. As efforts to monitor and maintain the site continue, the legacy of 1969 looms, suggesting that we may have only scratched the surface of Niagara's hidden spaces. Niagara Cave reopens 2025. August 20th, 2025, a day of excitement as headlines celebrated the reopening of Niagara Cave after years of closure. For local residents, scientists, and visitors from around the globe, the return represented more than a restored attraction. It was a new window into the extraordinary world hidden behind roaring water and stone. Today's guided tours once again lead through the main chamber behind Bridal Veil Falls, a space so grand that it recalls the vastness of cathedrals, the caverns, at approximately 130 feet high and 100 feet wide impresses with its cool air, damp echo, and a sense of slow geological time. Its formation owes much to the erosive action of waterfalls that once cascaded here, carving out the immense chamber we see, but all eyes are on what lies behind the old rock barrier, at the cave's rear, a feature that, for years, symbolized both possibility and frustration. Advances in remote sensing and scanning techniques have shed new light. Behind the barrier is a complex, as yet incompletely mapped system of natural voids, their scale and configuration still subject to exploration. This system formed gradually, waterfalls dried up, floods and freeze-thaw cycles reshaped the landscape, and the Niagara Escarpment's soft underlayers yielded to water's patient passage. Inside, the architecture of nature is evident. Corridors, chambers, and crawl spaces reflect thousands of years of alternating chaos and stillness. Each cave section offers signs of nature's handiwork. Slight color shifts in the walls reveal varying patterns of ancient water flow. Long sealed cracks above show scars from ages old collapses and geological shifts. For now, most of these caverns remain off limits to the public, their stability still being assessed. Experts emphasize that safety dictates which areas can be visited. The same processes that gave rise to these chambers could also pose risks over time. 
The continued reopening of the main cave draws attention to the possibility of ever greater discoveries. As research progresses, questions swirl. Could there be fossils, mineral deposits, or evidence of prehistoric human or animal activity in the deeper, darker sections? For now, uncertainty lingers, matched only by the excitement of new exploration. Exploring Niagara Caves Technology Unlocking the mysteries beneath Niagara Falls demands a blend of vigilance, advanced technology, and scientific curiosity. The falls are closely monitored for both safety and research. What lies below is as much a subject of science as a possible risk. State-of-the-art systems underpin this monitoring. Park authorities and scientists have deployed sensors, cameras, and seismographs, not just above ground, but deep within the rock. These monitor water flow, detect subtle structural changes, and capture vibrations from even minor rockfalls. Routine inspections coincide with brief water diversions, often in spring when portions of the falls are temporarily redirected for maintenance and cleaning. During these windows, teams inspect exposed rock faces, conduct LIDAR scans, and use drones to update 3D models of the gorge and its interiors. When anomalies are detected, a tremor, a new crack, or odd color changes in the water, the monitoring systems provide real-time data to experts. As of August 2025, officials have reassured the public that there is no sign of new danger, even as ongoing discoveries generate renewed interest worldwide. Innovations in ground-penetrating radar, acoustic imaging, and remote robotics have advanced our view of Niagara's caverns. These non-destructive methods let scientists map voids, detect unstable zones, and document slow shifts in the underlying rock as the falls inexorably move upstream. Tourists can experience only the safest and best understood chambers, while more delicate or unexplored sections remain the domain of research teams. As technology continues to improve, the curtain is being drawn back ever so slightly, but much much about the hidden depths of Niagara remains to be revealed. Niagara Falls Tourism and Mystery the rhythm of the falls sets the pace for an entire region. Every development, whether a cave opening, a maintenance closure, or a new scientific announcement, reverberates through the fabric of local life. Hotels, restaurants, tour companies, and guides all depend on the enduring fascination Niagara inspires. The reopening of Niagara Cave in 2025 has brought relief and hope to many. Local businesses have adapted. New guided tours, books, and documentaries spring up to cater to global curiosity. Niagara's resurgence is not only a regional story, but an international event watched in distant capitals as closely as in Buffalo or Toronto. Yet, any news from the depths of Niagara is accompanied by a delicate tension. A scheduled inspection or a report of minor seismic activity can spark rumors, sometimes deterring visitors who fear danger. Social media amplifies every speculation about newly discovered tunnels or possible hazards, sometimes ahead of the science or facts. Park officials and scientists have learned the importance of clear communication. Routine closures mostly mean maintenance or research. And while the drama of discovery is real, continued vigilance ensures visitor safety. Rangers, geologists, and engineers work together to inform, reassure, and manage both the wonder and the risks inherent in guiding people through such a dynamic environment. Inside the cave system, stringent protocols govern every expedition. Logs are maintained, sensors are checked and rechecked, and contingency plans stand ready for every scenario. Each guided tour is conducted with both enthusiasm and caution, a balance between curiosity and stewardship. Ultimately, much of the magic surrounding Niagara Cave comes not from danger, but from the sense of privilege that comes with seeing something newly revealed, something hidden from view for generations. The mystique of these chambers brings together locals and travelers alike, a testament to the enduring power of this natural wonder. When Niagara Falls runs dry, Every so often, engineering or circumstance grants a rare view into the world behind Niagara's thundering veil. When water is diverted for inspection, or in exceptional cases like 1969, when whole sections dry up, the caves behind Niagara's roar stand revealed for a fleeting moment, bare, stark, and deeply compelling. In 1969, during the Great Silence, visitors walked across an alien landscape. 
one where fossils, ancient rocks, and dormant voids came into focus. The absence of the waterfall's noise and movement made the place seem transformed, unpredictable, and fragile. Even the routine shutdowns for maintenance evoke a sense of unreality, as familiar vistas assume a new, haunting quiet. For some, the empty falls are a loss, the absence of the heartbeat that defines the region. For others, it's an invitation to reflect on the falls as a living, changing entity. Each return of the water brings subtle changes, new chunks of rock revealed or swept away, minor shifts in flow, and ever-shifting boundaries. For scientists, these resets are critical. They offer a chance to check for new cracks, eroded areas, or hazards that could impact both the natural wonder and its visitors. This duality, the spectacle above and the mystery below, shapes every discussion about cave exploration and maintenance. Each time the hidden spaces are revealed, we're reminded that Niagara's story is one of unstoppable change, both spectacular and quietly profound. Niagara Falls Legends and Myths To fully appreciate the allure of Niagara's secret caves, it's essential to look beyond rock and water. For indigenous peoples, this landscape has always held deep spiritual meaning, a place of ceremony, legend, and profound respect. Stories have long cast the mist as a veil between worlds, the falls as both a boundary and a bridge. Modern era discoveries only reinforce these myths. Each new cave entry or tunnel mapping feels like the ghost of an old legend brought to life in stone. Some spaces defy simple geological explanation, so perfectly hidden or dramatically formed that they spark the imagination and inspire new stories. Industrial innovation added its own layer. Tunnels for power generation, diversion, and maintenance were carved below the falls, many of which remain unknown to casual visitors. Some of these have since been reclaimed by the advancing river, sealed by nature or engineers, but their existence adds to the air of mystery below. For scientists, exploration is about evidence, fossils, rocks, and minerals that tell the deep time story of Niagara's formation. For storytellers, the real drama lies in the possibility that some corners, barely mapped, rarely visited, may still hold unknown wonders. What is truly hidden at Niagara? The answer is at once concrete. Stone, water, passageways, and psychological. An enduring desire to believe in mysteries just beyond the reach of daylight. With every new scan or public update, each mapping largely adds another chapter rather than ending the legend. These myths persist in part because Niagara is in constant visible flux, a symbol of fathomless time and nature's creative, destructive power. For every small fact uncovered, many new questions spring up. New Beginnings at Niagara Falls in the final measure, Niagara Falls remains as it always has, both openly majestic and quietly concealed. The newly reopened Niagara Cave is simply the latest doorway, granting us a closer look into the past, into shifting stories written slowly by water and stone. Within those echoing chambers, where sunlight grows faint and history thickens, every crack and channel is a record of time's passage. Each new opening discovered is itself a statement that modern technology and human curiosity can never fully exhaust the marvels hidden below. Science and technology grant us oversight and glimpses, but the deeper secrets may forever elude complete understanding. What if the greatest mystery is not what's already accessible, but what's still waiting in the darkness, caught between layers of dolostone and shale, between legend and reality? waiting for the next great change. As visitors file through the newly opened paths and researchers prepare for new discoveries, the question endures, a quiet counterpoint to the roar above. What more remains to be found for those willing to look, listen, and wonder at the world below? That sense of mystery is part of the enduring appeal of Niagara. So long as water carves stone and surface gives way to shadow, there will be questions to answer and stories to unfold. Standing at the edge of the cavern, would you step forward into the ancient dark, hoping for wonders yet unseen? Share your thoughts and stay curious, for the story of Niagara and its hidden heart is far from finished. If you are fascinated by the world's secret places, by stories written in silence and stone, remember that beneath the surface, discovery is always just beginning. Niagara's tale continues, echoing beneath the roar, waiting for its next revelation.